Hey guys, welcome to the Step Outside YouTube channel. If you want to see catches like this, stick around, like and subscribe. Here's what's coming up. Don't want to live like this no more. Don't want to crawl around on the floor. Don't want to wake up crying anymore. Singing, oh, that sound. G'day team, during the cooler months of the year around Australia, we love to target a specific species. Now I've got with me Gordon Triplett from Garmin, he's joined us today. Mate, you've got a family recipe that we're going to be passing down from generation to our viewers at home, and today we're targeting a fish that's required to make this recipe. What are we doing? Mate, we're fishing for pike. 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 That's, that's, the, that's the, now I see that you have come prepared with a four story tackle box. You need a lot of tackle to target pike. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of tackle. Um, pike are a fantastic bait, but they are also a fantastic eating fish. Now, maybe you guys at home probably have thought, well, I've never really wanted to eat a pike, but you've got to imagine when you put one of those on your bait, just about everything in the ocean wants to climb on top of it and inhale it. So if it's great for the fish, then it's going to be good for us. What gear are you running today, mate? Mate, just a, just a light little outfit, and I've actually um, just put a bait jig on, and I've actually baited the, the bait jig. A lot of our southerners, New South Wales, uh, you know, heading down into Victoria, et cetera, you can't use cast nets, because you can use cast nets in Queensland and various other states where you can actually catch a school of pike with one cast. But using a rod and reel is a lot of fun. I'm going to opt for, away from the bait jig like you, I'm going for the squidgy wriggler 80 mil and bloodworm. I think that's going to be an absolute crusher. Hopefully we get a few and see how we go. Because they have a flesh similar to a whiting, really, don't they? Yeah, they do. They do. And they're, um, they're a delicate sort of flesh, but great tasting. And um, yeah, I mean, we, we cut our teeth on these on all the piers and jetties when we were kids. And yeah. still good fun catching them today. Absolutely, mate. All right, let's get into it. And we'll catch Pike with the Pike King himself, Gordon Triplett. <laughs> So these are a, a yellow fin pike or yellow tail pike, Gordy? I think we used to call them a yellow tail pike, but yeah, they're a, they're a pike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, they're great uh, little fish to catch, aren't they? Good for kids. Mate, they're great fun for kids. And, and adults. And adults, like. yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. This is part of fishing, everybody. If you, you're coming out here, you're doing a, maybe a, a bait clean. Not always you're going to catch the big snappers, right? Or the big amberjack or the big cold trout or trevally or whatever. It's about just getting that rod bent and even Gordon's, who's a seasoned angler, and we've got Dave down the back corner here as well from Relax. And I'd say, you know, these guys love to catch fish, and this is just part of fishing. Enjoy the day. I started to shake. Mm -hmm. I started So the action is not, oh, wow, it's like a marlin, is just jigging up and down. The retrieve, well, there is no retrieve. I'm just dropping the line down five feet, lifting it up and down, and 
and then it goes. So it's a really good way just to have a bit of fun with the pike and get your lure working in front of their face. There's quite a few down there. There's two. Oh! He's back. He's on. Is that over you? Come on. That little uh, light rod there, Gordy, is certainly a putting up a lot Oy. of fun, mate. <laughs> like a little marlin. Yeah, they're Look at that. I remember one fellow telling us there, Gordon, a guy by the name of Drew Argos, that if you catch a fish that jumps, no matter what size it is, it's a memory that is pretty much dredged into your brain for many years. Really? Uh, mm. Yeah. He does catch a few fish, that guy. He does. Yeah. He does. A lot of jump, like, you know, the pike is one. Yeah, yeah. Bit of a slayer. Actually, um, Drew actually taught me most of what I know about catching mm. pike. Yeah. yeah. So. yeah but it's, it's, that's the thing, though. If you have memories of growing up with a specific person is that no matter you know how special they are is that if you remember the tactics and the techniques it comes back in look, droves I look at that fish and I, I think Drew <laughs> <laughs> How are you going over there Gordy? Yeah mate I've got a little bit quiet Just try one of these squidgies mate they won't let you down even without a tail on it, still being working wonders. Look at that, straight back down. Jig. That's a better one. So when you do go out collecting bait, pike, food, fish, whatever it might be, mollusks, crustaceans, there's always going to be a size and bag limit and that varies from state to state. So obviously I do urge everyone, wherever you are, to check your local rules and your regulations before you, you do go out. You don't want to get a hefty fine, even if you're one over the limit or a couple of millimetres underneath the size limit. So this little squidgy wriggler 80 millimetre in the bloodworm is a fantastic lure for a variety of fish from brim through to whiting and even of course flathead and for me today I will suggest pike. Now they are UV enhanced and they also have the biosalt around them. They smell amazing so I think the fish will absolutely get crushed on them. Now this is a little TT jig head. Generally if you're working it you want to go 1.0, 1 inch, 2.0, 2 inch. That's a sort of rating of the size of a hook to suit the actual plastic that we're running here. Okay, so you've got the top and you've got the bottom, that's the top of him. And this little 116 jig head is going to be enough. I don't want it too heavy, because we're only fishing in around five feet of water. And we just thread that through. We've got the lock on the top here, so once I push that plastic over, it's going to lock on it straight away. And that's perfect. So nice straight jig head. The tail's just going to wobble around, and fingers crossed, they'll eat the hook. Here we go. Yeah, woo! Hey! Okay. Oh, come here, mate. So that's our pike. Lots of scales, really soft flesh, and I'll tell you what, fantastic bait. But I've been told they are great to eat. I really can't wait to have that recipe. Whee! Oh, there you go. I've got. He's got it oh, in yep. his mouth. Yep. You got yours? Oh no, he spat it out. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. it. This goes to show, you know, catching, catching your fish, no matter what it is, what size it is, is a lot of fun. Particularly when you're out here with your mates and you're egging each other on. But just the old fashioned pike. We're going to go back to the kitchens, give this a bit of a cook up and see how we travel. I'm looking forward to Gordon's uh, <laughs> recipe there, mate. I think we've got enough now. What do yeah, you reckon? Yeah. And we've got enough also uh, to drop down for some baits because I'll tell you what, these particular fish are fantastic. A two hook rig, one out of the nose, one in his back, drop him down, mulloway, snapper, amberjack, kingfish, God, the list goes on, absolutely brilliant. But for us, I think we might just keep a few more to go. And until then, here's a few tips to get you underway when you're going out pike fishing. Firstly, you'll need a lightweight one to three kilo combo, whether it's spin or overhead, whatever's comfortable. When using the bait jig, why not bait up the hooks with pieces of squid or some peeled prawn? 
I like to use a squidgy 80mm soft plastic with a light jig head. It's hard to resist. Now they'll hang around weed beds, so work that on the run-in tide. When the tide starts to turn, they generally shift into the channels. Have fun. And of course, thanks for watching Step Outside YouTube channel for lots of cooking and fishing action. Like, subscribe, and of course, comment for more catches like this and cooking recipes.